What's up, gang? Case here with our in-gym strength work for Friday, November 27th. We hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we've got three rounds of a strength circuit today, three different movements. First movement is going to be a snatch complex. It's going to look like this. Two from the hip. Pause for a moment in that uh, hip position. Keep your belly tight. Keep uh, those elbow or those shoulders pulled down and back. From here, don't re-dip. You're just going to drive straight through the floor. Jump and shrug. Punch. Feet go a little bit wider on that landing. Keep your belly tight when you catch and stand. So you'll do that twice from the hip. Get tight. Punch. Keep that bar close. Check your belly here. Am I tight? And then from there, we'll go two from above the knee. We'll still find our power position on the way down, but then we'll drive those hips back. Chest should be way out in front of those knees. That barbell should be glued on our leg. From here, up to the hip, then jump. Same catch, same check in that middle, making sure I'm tight. Pressing up through those shoulders, then stand. So our focus today is building that technique. This is like our second week of barbell snatches, um, so we don't need to go heavy. You are gonna have the opportunity to build a little bit each set if that complex feels good. From there, um, you can switch weights for this next movement. You might wanna go a little bit heavier versus that snatch complex because we're training wide, strong back muscles as well as our hamstrings with this snatch grip RDL. So hip width stance on that. We're gonna hold that bar just like we would on that snatch. Shoulders down and back, top knuckles straight down. Also, don't forget that hook grip today. First two fingers go over top of that thumb. Once I've got all that locked in, belly tight, I go soft bend in the knees, then I send those hips back. On these, my eyes should go ahead and look down at the ground, just so I have that straight line from the top of my head down to my hip. Watch out for rounding the back. Remember, pull those shoulders back, belly tight in the bottom. That chest should be way out in front of those knees. So putting a few reps together, keeping everything tight. Feel those hamstrings load up as you come down. After eight reps there, we'll move to chin-ups. Um, same thing on those, or not same thing, on those snatch grip RDL. Um, it's eight reps each set. I want you to leave two reps in the tank each time. So that'll dictate your weight today. Um, if you nail it on that first set and it feels good, uh, stay there. Or if you need to make some slight adjustments, just aiming to have a moderately difficult set, two reps with good technique still left in the tank. Last one today. Tempo chin up. So first thing, let's talk about grip. Um, let's get that grip turned up so this top knuckle's facing the ceiling, not those knocking knuckles. It's just gonna give us a bigger, stronger grip. Our hands should be about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. Uh, if you need a little extra mobility, going slightly wider will help with that, but ideally right there by the shoulder. So get that big grip. From here, you're gonna start at the top, five second hold, pull those elbows down and back as far as you can, and then it's gonna be a five second negative. From there, use an object to help you get back to the top. During the whole rep, remember belly tight, butt tight, pointing our toes, five at the top, five on the way down. Try to keep your tempo the same all the way to the bottom. A lot of times we'll start good at the top and then as we get closer to the bottom, we kind of speed through that last range of motion. If you need help with that tempo, you can stretch a band across the J cups. And if we're having trouble with that overhead position, we can even come down for a ring row with that same tempo. That'll be it for our um, strength work for today. We'll see you back soon for our Metcon.